China, uh, some pharma pharmaceutical companies are experimenting with bear bile. Now, bear bile is supposed to shrink gallstones, reduce fevers, and soothe the after effects of excessive drinking, even though there are no scientific studies indicating that bear bile actually works for this. Um, now, the way of extracting the bile from the bear is excruciating, okay? What they do is they insert these tubes into the bear's abdomen three times a day, and they extract the bile from the bear's body. Now, I'm about to show you guys a video that shows you just how harsh and, and cruel this procedure is. Be warned, it is graphic, but let's take a look. Look, uh, a lot of uh, Chinese people who are in this business, line of business, make the argument that this is culture, right? Mm -hmm. uh, nonsense. First of all, okay, that could be true. Well, then your culture is wrong. And by the way, uh, not to judge too harshly with their culture, because our culture isn't any better, especially when it comes to our, you know, meat industry. So, you know, we do cruel things to animals as well. So. Well, look, there's a couple of differences, right? So, first of all, um, I judge all the cultures. You know, mm -hmm. I, you know, the cultures in some parts of the Africa and the Middle East that do genital uh, mutilation uh, for women is hideous. outrageous. It's hideous. And so sometimes your culture is wrong. I mean, there's parts in Central Asia uh, where you kidnap and rape a woman, and then that's how you marry her, right? Outrageous, right? So, and this is also outrageous. Now, look, vegetarians and vegans might judge us. Uh, I'm a meat eater, and say that's outrageous. Uh, but I think that there is a fair uh, portion of debate that you can have on certain things, and then there are things that I think are so vile, so unnecessary. They're outside of a very broad parameters of debate. Now, there is no scientific evidence that bare bile is good for you. It's nonsense. And they pay, charge so much for it. And this is so inhumane, so cruel, so barbaric. You know, my wife, uh, who is Chinese, happened to read about this many years ago. And she described it to me. And I thought, I literally couldn't believe it. I thought, no, that's got to be some internet hoax or something. They really keep the bears locked up for their whole lives and, it, and stick this thing in them three times a day, get it out. And, and in the beginning of that video, it was longer. We didn't show you the whole thing. The screaming of the bears is like, I mean, it'll haunt you. Yeah. I, and human beings, I'm not judging the Chinese. We're all the same way. And, and it just manifests in different cultures in different ways, right? We're vicious animals. You know, we really, we've got to train ourselves to be civilized because otherwise our instincts are so barbaric so often. We've pulverized this planet, the animals on this planet. I get it, we eat some of them. But if, if there is no good reason for, for doing cruelty to animals like this, there's got to be a bounds of reason where you say, this is way outside of it. They should ban this yesterday. Yeah, I like that these videos get released because it gives you a sense of what kind of conditions these bears are living in. It gives you a sense of how much pain they're dealing with. And Jenk is right, and earlier in the video you hear this bears like screaming and it's just really, really difficult to watch. But, you know, the people that are behind this do want to defend it. And, you know, just to be fair, I thought I would read uh, the uh, guy's statement. It's full of shit, but let okay, me... Okay, but let's be fair. Yeah, but let's be fair. <laughs> let me read it to you guys. He says, the process of extracting bear bile is like turning on a tap. Natural, easy, and without pain. After they're done, the bears can even play happily outside. I don't think there's anything out of the ordinary. It might even be a very comfortable process. Yeah, that's why they're screaming throughout. Yes, it's a very comfortable process. And by the way, they're not playing outside. They're bears. They're in those cages. Now, how would you feel if you were locked up in a cage your whole life, okay? They capture these bears, and sometimes they have the bears from a very early age, okay? They have the bears there. Their whole life, they're getting that bile out of the bear. They're in that cage three times a day. They get punctured, and something oozes out of their body. Look, this is... I'm I sh you're I know you're making the point that this is somehow worse than what we do to our animals, but 
really, how is it worse? I mean, the only way that I could think of that makes it worse is the fact that there's no scientific evidence indicating that there's any use for that bile, right? At least we eat the animals after we kill them. But the conditions that we keep them in, I mean, we raise them in cages, we keep them like that for their entire lives, and then we kill them and we eat them. We Look, pump them with hormones, we torture them. I mean, we're, we're seeing some changes when it comes to animal cruelty, and I'm happy about that, but we have a long way to go. No, I understand, and everybody draws their line in different places, and so I don't eat veal because I know that we keep them in cages uh, for their whole lives. Uh, and I eat free-range chicken and, and eggs that come from free-range chicken mm -hmm. as, to the best of my ability. Because I, I think that ca keeping animals in, in cages their whole lives is too barbaric. Now, there are plenty of uh, animals that get to roam like they're supposed to, and you, you milk them, and then at some point you get their meat after they've lived a life. I, yes, it costs more money, but I'm willing to pay that cost because I think that's a decent thing to do. I hope we all get there. I know that you know I don't want to judge, you know, uh, everybody for the different things that they do, but this is beyond the pale, if you ask me. And look, there was a part of that story that my wife had found that is probably apocryphal, but was just rips you up inside. So it turns out this part of the story is true. Mm -hmm. I was skeptical about this because it seems so barbaric, and the rest of the story was that. There was a, a, a baby bear there, and uh, it was from one of the mothers uh, who was also in a cage. And then they put the baby bear in, and they started tapping him for bile as well. Mm -hmm. And the mother bear is screaming and screaming and trying to reach the baby bear and can't do it. And at one point, uh, they leave her cage open, and she jumps out. She doesn't go after the humans. She oh. goes after the baby and kills the baby to put it out of its misery. Okay, I can't, I can't hear stuff like that. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Okay, so Wendy's been giving to the foundation that rescues mm -hmm. these bears for the past four years. Wow. <laughs> okay. Now, again, I don't know if that part of the story is true, but we do know they keep them in cages all that time. If you were in that situation, what would you do, right? So, outside the bounds of reason, and, that, and I got news for you, if you're drinking or eating that bear bile, you're an idiot. It doesn't do anything for you.